finally back working on the bridge. Uh, spent some time this morning. I got all of the AB girders cut. There they are laying there. Got them cut. I think they're going to be okay. <laughs> um, one thing I found very useful, uh, I did purchase a brand new razor saw, 42 teeth per inch. That's the Zona saw that I used. Really was not the ones I was using. I can tell now were not the best. They were older ones I had around, and um, big difference. Big difference using a, a nice new sharp razor saw. So that helped out. Unfortunately, I don't have a good miter box that will take the new saw. And I didn't want to have to stop and wait and buy something and I want to get this darn thing working. So if we're cutting some of these angles, 2.3 degrees, you know, I'm not good. I'll never cut a 2.3 degree angle. I don't care what kind of tool I have. 5.5, 19, yeah, okay. What I did was I just kind of took the pieces, laid them in right on top of the template here. Kind of took the saw, just kind of marked it, brought it over on top of uh, one of my fast tracks templates turned upside down. It's a nice flat sturdy aluminum surface and cut them and got close. I, I think I did okay. Um, <laughs> had a little issue on some of these. It really, it, it does say be careful and it's he's really right. Jeff, the the guy that made the kits, be, be very careful. You don't have a lot of slop. On these you do. Um, I cut one end, measured it up, cut the other end and then of course now have a bunch of extra nice little neat little pieces for, I don't know, for scenery or other loads, something like that. But it is, I mean, it's critical, but I don't think it's super critical. And they even say that because a lot of these get, I mean, all these get covered by the gusset plates here. And even if you look at the, at the bridge, even on the top, there's a gusset plate that goes over it. So if you're off a little bit, you know, this is going to help you hold the angle and also cover up any slight uh, miss there on the exam and believe me I'm gonna have plenty of that on mine and then of course you have the pieces coming in from the bottom and and, and the angle pieces so it's not like it's it's has to be super super perfect I mean do the best you can and I, I did do the best I can but trust me it, it's not I do not have 2.3 degree angles on them believe me so those are all cut I need to come back and uh, take the X's out here uh, on the bottom where the other uh, channels are going to fit in um, but I'm going to take a break it's been about three hours of just joyous fun cutting these so I'm going to go work on the layout do some scenery on the main layout but hope to get back I'd like to get uh, if I can start building the truss I, I have to look at the instructions and see what's next um, but I'll definitely get all these cleaned up get all the X's removed as required probably cut all the CC girders as well um, so all, all that stuff is done here are the CC girders waiting so I'll uh, do that but again uh, did the best I could so I don't, don't have a miter that would work I, mean, I have this old thing on bobber here that uh, I mean I can I can get the angle on and everything like that but uh, the new saw wouldn't fit and the old ones I had that does fit the blade's dull. I'm not going to waste my time with a dull blade. So I did it by hand. So we'll see how it works out. <laughs> Hopefully the uh, YouTube model builders aren't watching this because they'll be like, oh my god, this guy's a real freaking Neanderthal. But we'll see. Ho hopefully it goes along alright. Got real close. I think I got close enough again with the the way that they're going to be covered up. I think I'll make it, uh, make it look okay. So, Alright, so I just wanted to start doing this and we'll see how far I can get on the bridge this weekend. And try to get this darn thing uh, closer to completion. More to come shortly. All right, forget I'd show you this here. This is a Sunday morning here. I'm working on the bridge, and uh, two mistakes today. And uh, figured, hey, be honest, and I'll show you what happened here. Hold on a second. Let me turn the scanner off. That darn scanner is quiet for hours, and as soon as I start recording, people want to talk. All right, so I was working on the bottom. BB girders added in the little gussets not a problem for the most part worked out fine 
And as I got looking at it, I just got to thinking, because I was looking at this particular one here, and the spacing is different on the ends. It's it's there's a little bit more girder or of, of the X's removed on both ends of this one as compared to these. And I started looking at, at the girders that I had, and I had all but one done. I'll put the last one here. And if you kind of can look at that, you can see how one end has a little, little bit more space and one end's pretty darn close. And I must have cut the X's and started gluing things on based on these two, which is different than this one. So I was like, oh crap, you know, because these all have basically a short end and a long end, let's call it just for terminology. You can see that fits like that. And then the matching one here, which is a little bit more space. And, and these are all okay. And then this end's got a short end, and this matches up with the end piece. So I had, like I said, I had nearly all these done. I'm on the last one here. I'm looking at it. I'm saying, that's not going to work. Because if I do that, you can see this end's okay, but that end's way off, or vice versa, whichever way you flip it. That end's okay. This end, you see, it's too close. So what the, the center girder here might not fit. So I was like, ah, crap, now what do I do? Well, luckily for one, I didn't do it yet. For the other ones, I very quickly went back, added some more glue around the, the gusset, very carefully, very carefully, the pair of pliers, was able to pull them back up and get them off. So, I think I saw it. One of them got a little beat up, but I think it'll be fine once I get it on and painted. So, note to self, and the, the the instructions they you know do say this cut the X's you know per the drawing here, and I assumed made a mistake. I probably think oh they're all the same. I just pick you know one of these two, and cut the X's that way. And that's not right because this one these four, be the four right around the center are different, in that they're almost more symmetrical on each end. So be careful about that uh, if you're gonna you know gonna cut them. Again, slow down, take your time, and don't make the same darn mistakes I'm making. So what I'm going to do now is just go back and just cut some more of the X's out and glue the, the gusset back on. I mean, it should be fine once I get it fixed. And then for some reason, I also had one of these wrong. I don't know why, but one of them, again, I was just kind of setting it in there. And the same thing, I, I fixed it already. Um, it was sitting up too far. Three of them were right, and one of them was wrong. I don't, I don't know what I did. So again, I added some glue around it, care very carefully, pulled the, the gusset plate back off, recut the axis back so it lines up, and so now the four end ones are good to go. So again, be careful. Um, so these eight are okay for the bottom BBs, and I got to fix up these four just by extending the, the one end of the gussets which I have here ready to go so I'll get that done and another mistake I made but I don't know why you guys are watching me um, when I was cutting the CC's I cut this one I cut this one and this one says right here you know full girder length well trying to be the the cute little modeler that I am knowing that I was cutting these and assuming I was going to cut that because I didn't freaking sit down and read it I flush cut all the ends on the CC girders, um, which was no issue for these two because they're cut. For these, they're going to be close. Um, I think they're going to be long enough to fit because all it's really got to do is kind of get you know inside the bottom and inside the, the top AB girders. So it's going to be close. If I line this one up here, eh, it's going to be real close. So in fact, that one doesn't look like it's going to fit. So I'm not sure why. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the one that was cut earlier. My full length ones are here. Whew. See, panic. So they're going to be close. I mean, they're, they're going to fit inside. It's probably hard to see here. Just inside. So I think they'll be okay. So again, read the freaking diagram. Because um, these six, the one, two, one, two, three, the, the center and the one on each side, It'll be in the center and the two on the other side there are full length. I think I'll be okay, 
but just save yourself some hassle and and, and slow down and don't do what I do. All right, so I'm going to fix these up, get the gusset plates glued on, and then probably stop. I've had enough. I don't want to make any more mistakes. I'll go back out to the layout and uh, work on some more scenery. Um, so by the time I'm probably going to stop after this and get this posted up just so you can see progress and mistakes. So basically I'll have all the bottom BBs ready to go, all the CCs ready to go, even some they going to be close, all the top ABs ready to go, minus cutting the X's out, the X's, for, which I might do later on today, depends how I feel, but uh, I'll stop and get this posted up, so at least you can see something. So the next steps will be to make the bottom BB girder chains, you, you make two of these, and then two more, so make four total, and then you glue them together uh, to make the full bottoms. And then you start building the, the truss assembly. So, uh, so just be careful. Uh, take your time. Don't make the same mistakes I did. Uh, luckily, I caught it really before these had really set up, which in that case I probably would have ruined them. But I was able to get in there quick enough with a little bit of more of the uh, solvent around it and, and pry them back up very carefully. So I'm going to recut these and get them done. So then I'll have all the girders pretty much ready to go, especially if later today I go in and cut all the X's out here. And then I'm ready for the for the truss assembly. So uh, more to come. And uh, thanks for watching. And like I said, we're gonna show you how we do this, warts and all. So you can hopefully learn from uh, from my mistakes and uh, at least be aware of things you might want to look for if you decide to make the bridge yourself. So thanks for watching. And uh, more to come when I get my head back around it. And uh, <laughs> hopefully I'll stop making these darn mistakes. Okay, real quick wrap up. Uh, all the top ABs, I have all of the X's cut, so they're all ready. And these are the the bottom ones that I had to. No, not those. They're the four center ones here. These are the ones that I had to had to fix. Probably didn't show very well on video, but they're all fixed. Um, one is a little bit. Uh, Got some stress cracks on it from when I took it off, but I think it'll be okay. You know, thank God for paint and weathering. So I think we'll be good there. So I'm pretty much through all that. And then the next thing, it really is now I'm really ready to start the the truss assembly. Uh, putting the bottom, again, the bottom section together, and then following through for the rest of it. So what I'm going to do, i got some travel. I'm going to take these with me, and I'm actually going to read them. <laughs> sit down and read them so I know exactly what's going to come next. So, more to come. Um, I guess I'll call this kind of preparation for truss assembly. And the next section, hopefully you'll see the uh, the truss assembled. Or partway assembled. We'll see how it makes sense to break up the video. So, uh, that's all for now. So, hopefully uh, you're getting a kick out of the mistakes and uh, are actually following along. And um, eventually I'm going to get it to that state right there. So, thanks for watching.